understanding basic human psychology. So in this video, we will start to analyze and predict a certain formula which we are all effectively decoding, which can bring us or lead us to gain wisdom on the psyche of the human species. So psychology or the psychic existence of the human being is something which is very, very interesting when we can start to align with the truth of its existence. Human psychology in general is is an open book. We can look at it and we can endlessly analyze and, and debate on the existence of human psychology. What I'm going to do, at least within this video, is start to rationalize the, the basic foundation of the human psyche and psychology meaning the essence of the existence within the the mind's being. So what I would like to first highlight is every single one of us is existing within a plane of imagination. We are all effectively bringing our imagination into this reality. And when we start to look at this reality as effectively the, the dream, which we are dreaming, we can start to understand that everyone is having their own form within the dream. And within this form, we are within a system that we are effectively, as Pink Floyd quoted, another brick in the wall. So when we are placed within the wall or when we're placed within this system, we have the outside constantly bringing a sense of belonging to us and this belonging or this sense of placing us within a, a space which we are constantly pushed into within the world's expectations, the world's it, generally its expectations. We are constantly infiltrated by the thoughts within our heads which are constantly pushing us to meet expectations or are constantly pushing us into a space where we are constantly resembling this essence of self which may not necessarily be the true self. And when we start to look at basic principles of this reality or the system is that the system is pushing us into a space of being which may not necessarily be the true essence of one's happiness. And this is where we start to really find a, a sense of, you could say, clairvoyance or a sense of um, a sense of awakening is when we see that the reality, what it's pushing us, is only pushing us to have a certain experience. And this experience which we're having, if it's not bringing us happiness, we must question the reality which we're living in. And the human psyche is effectively the reality which we're living in. It has everything to do with the presence of connection as we are all connected as one. We are all having one experience only fragmented into different vessels which is experiencing the dream. So one thing which we can really awaken within the, the human psyche is that we are all one expression. We are all one existence. We are only fragmented into a different vessel, billions of different vessels. And the, the very powerful point which I would like to make in this video is that once we align to the basic truth, which is we are all interconnected with one another, we can start to bring a sense of value to each other. We can bring a sense of companionship to one another and we can understand that the system which we are living in 
is designed to separate. It's designed to conquer. It's designed to divide. And when we are feeling this separation, we look at each other as beings of... We are constantly in contest with one another. We are constantly putting one down to gain a better experience. But the quantum perspective of this is to understand that we are all one experience. We are all... It's not necessary. we are all one experience. It's we are all one... We are all seeded from... We are all seeded from the psyche. We are all seeded from this basic truth. And when we start to look at this basic truth being that we are seeded from one, we are sourced from one, and when I refer to one, I'm talking about the expression of infinite potential, we can awaken to the basic formula within ourselves, which is connected to the, the psyche. And the psyche of the human being is genetically programmed or genetically engineered to to run this program to run this reality to run this system to run this predictability and unless we awaken to this unless we understand that this reality is has been created, has been designed, has been projected for us to obey and submit, we will only continue to be a slave to the system. It's not a negative thing. However, we need to harmonize truth with our existence, which will allow us to raise above the human psyche which will allow us to lift above and raise above the essence of the human psyche. We are living within a world which is allowing us to resonate with a higher consciousness. We could call this consciousness love, God. We could call this consciousness infinite possibility, presence within infinite possibility. Awareness, awareness within infinite form. We can call this we can call this presence infinite. What we are experiencing is a human experience, and this human experience is limited to what we feel limits us. So as long as we can align with the very basic truth within the human psyche, within the psychology of our minds, that this expression of life, this existence, this world that we're living in is only designed to keep us within its, within its layer, within its confinement, within its grasp of our consciousness, within our paradigm of of presence we will continue to evolve until we reach a point where we have understood that this reality is only here to hold us in its grip and when we reach a level or elite when we reach a level of of presence a level of alignment a level of conscious awakening we will resemble the key to the door which will open up into the the truth of our existence which is we are all here to to make choices which will lead to comprehending and understanding what is truly going on in this reality and to summarize this video is that the human psyche psychology within the human mind is always granting choice 
and the choices which we make will eventually lead to the answers we can find within our heart. And the answers which we can find within our heart will always conquer the voices of our minds. As long as we go in search of the answers within our hearts, we will always be able to overcome the voices within our minds which are always trying to distract us from conquering them. Powell.